Hello, today we'll be going over problem one of the Awesome Math Test B admissions test, which states solve in positive integers the equation x plus 2y squared plus xy minus 2 squared is equal to 20, 20. Now, in order to solve this, the first step is to expand this out. Expanding out the left-hand side gives us x, x squared plus 4yx plus 4y squared plus x squared y squared minus 4xy plus 4 is equal to 20, 20. Now, we can combine like terms in this equation to give us x squared y squared plus x squared plus 4y squared plus 4 is equal to 20, 20. So now we have expanded and simplified the left-hand side. From here, we can see that in the first two factors, we have an x squared, and the second two factors, we have a 4. So we can factor by grouping to get x squared times y squared plus 1 plus 4 times y squared plus 1 is equal to 20, 20. Combining like terms, the x squared and the 4 gives us x squared plus 4 times y squared plus 1 is equal to 20, 20. Now from here, we can take the number 20, 20 and factorize it into two factor pairs. Call them factor 1 and factor 2. From here, we can set the first x squared plus 4 equal to either factor 1 or factor 2, and we can set y squared plus 1 equal to the opposite. And then we can switch these as well and set x squared plus 4 equal to factor 1, and sorry, equal to factor 2, and y squared plus 1 equal to factor 1. So you can test this for all the factors of 2020. To save time in this video, I've already calculated out all of the factor pairs and reversed them for the first factor and the second factor in this equation. And by doing this, I have found two solutions. One, if we plug in 404 for x and 5 for y, we get a solution of 20, 2. And the second one, if we plug in 20, 101, we get a solution of 4, 10. Therefore, we have two positive integer solutions. And the reason why I didn't take a solution like this is because it states that they have to be positive integer solutions. So therefore, if I plug in 1, 20, 20, and the first thing that comes out for x is i root 3, I already know that this will not be a solution. So to save time, I do not have to calculate the y. So therefore, by calculating everything, I have come up with the two solutions, which are 20, 2 and 4, 10.